So what's going on guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to clean and also oil your um, spinning reels. Um, yeah, this is a little oiling kit that you can get from Fleet and Farm for I think this was $6.99. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that these are $6.99. So first uh, things that we're going to need is your fishing reel, number one. I need a fishing reel because it's kind of hard to clean without the fishing reel. Next, I would suggest some. Let me get kind of close up here. So, next thing you're going to want is going to be uh, some paper towels. So, grab um, I'd say two sheets of paper towel um, to lay down as a surface, and also one to clean off the grease off of your reel. And you're also going to need a Q-tip. So once you get all your stuff around, okay, so once you get all your stuff around, you're going to first take your, this is Shipmate, as you can see right there, Shipmate, uh, this is spinning reel oil, pinpoint lubricant, single drop precision. So, um, shake this well. You want to shake it really, really good. There we go. And I'm going to take off the cap. Don't need that anymore. And I'll lay that to the side. Then, uh, this is the Shipmate Precision Bearing Spinning Reel Grease. 100% synthetic. And yeah, let's get right into it. So, first things first, what you're gonna do is how I always start off to clean my reels, and I do this every year. This is just a cheap little Jason Mitchell um, reel. It's, or, yeah, it's a Jason Mitchell reel from, doesn't matter what reel it is just how to clean it but all reels get dirty the reel I did in the last video I just cleaned last night so you're just going to take your drag knob and you're just going to turn that all the way I guess from this direction you'd be turning it to the right so let's say you're holding it like you're fishing you'd be turning it to the right but if you turn the drag knobs so it's facing towards you it will be turning to the left so that's just some but okay, let's just take off the drag knob and lay your parts beside you okay and then I can take off the spool there you are and I will lay this right here kind of lay your parts out so no, and next, take your handle off. Just unscrew that. Got the handle, that part, and this part. A tip to keep these together is just take the screw and screw them in a couple of times just to keep that part together. Um, then you have this, and so take your little gear right here and pull them off. And the little gears right there, there you are. And you can lay those down. So now that you have your reel disassembled, you're going to take your other paper towel and you're just going to wipe down all the spots that the manufacturer or you may have lubricated and you're just going to wipe them down until they're um, nice and just um, clean and yeah. And so just do that, get in here clean within uh, where the real hand where the handle would go so just take your cloth and get right in there clean this and then also you want to clean this little thing right here because this is a ball bearing because your line goes through it so just clean that off a little bit 
And then we are going to take your handle and you can clean off this part. Just wipe that off and wipe the tip off and the screw. This oiling your reels, I'd say once to I'd say one time a year. Um, you can do it at once every two years, that's totally fine. But if you already have it, it's only six dollars to clean all your fishing reels. So uh, this will also clean bait casters. Comment down below if you want to see how to clean a bait caster. And uh, yeah, I'll do that video. So just wipe down this thing from the inside. Make sure you need to get out as much as the grease as possible because we don't want that old grease uh, sitting in there because that uh, we want as much out as possible. So just get out most of it. And also your drag knob, just a little bit, not too much. And then your gears, just wipe those off real good because those are nice and oily. Got the gear and then like the clear washer right here. I'm sorry if I'm a little snuffly. I had a cold, I have a cold, so. I'm going to be a little snuffly. So, okay, all the parts are cleaned off now. So next you are going to want to take your reel. And um, first, I always like to start with the spinning reel oil. So you're going to take the little red thing off the tip and you are going to, so you can either open up or close your bail depending on which way um, You'll see this little space right here. When you open this reel, this little space, actually, so I can point without this dripping all over. This little space right there, that's where you want to get the oil in. So, whatever direction this is open the most whether your bale closed or your bale open, that's the position you want it in. And just add a drop or two. Just one, two. And let that sit for a second. And then the next side. Just one drip, two drip, and let it go in there. And then your reel handle where your reel would be. Just one drip on the outside, like right there. So, just one drip right there, and one drip on the inside as well. And then, also, you see right here, there's that little space, like right here. Just get a little grease right there, just a couple drops. So just a couple of drops in there. Don't have to do much, a lot of little grease goes a long way. Or, sorry, a little oil and grease, both, both go a long way. And so uh, there, and then, so you don't have to open up your reel. A good place I like to put this oil is you'll see this little switch right here. And you'll find different holes in different reels, but on uh, this particular reel, there's a little hole where you can switch whether this back reels or not. I always keep that off anyways, but you just can stick it at this in there and put a drop or two. And then just let that sit for a second, and you're done with this. So you got all the reel areas that you really need to do. Oh, you could, um, you could oil the knob right here, this turning part, real knob, and also your drag, just a little, little oil right around the edge and also in there. And once you get that oiled, you also have your spool. I was going to put a little oil on the inside of this. I oil and um, lubricate this 
I do both. And then on the inside right here, there's that little clicker, just a little oil. Okay. So next, we're done with this now, so you can wipe off the uh, long tube. You can just wipe off that, and you can put the cap back on, and the second cap back on. And we're done with this. So next, we are going on to this, and for the actual um, grease part, you're going to need a... Um, it's not very messy that but this will this piece of paper towel down will definitely help a little bit and you guys know what this is called just use one of these things um, I'm probably gonna end up saying this a random point in this video when I remember it yeah so if you hear me just randomly saying that you're just saying it what but yeah okay so just take it just put a little on the stick that's sticking out from your reel, just put a little down. Oh, when you first get this, it's not going to seem like it works because there's this little ball on the end. So just take a pair of pliers or a knife and um, either break it off or cut it off the tip so that the lubrication can come out. So, a little loop and take this and just spread it all the way around. So that's covering the whole dowel. It's called the metal dowel. I'm sick, so I can't be on the ice right now. That's why I'm doing these type of videos. And then um, just take a little more, put it on your uh, this thing. Still can't remember what it's called and put it in there and yeah you're done with that uh, you're done with this part of your reel next you're going to want to take some and you're going to want to get it just on the inside of this part right here all the way around the edges so just take it and take that little bit and spread it all the way around the edge that just makes this cap or um, drag just work a little bit better and if you guys keep up with your reels they'll last longer even if they are cheap I am currently doing this reel for Tyler so just coat your um, your drag knob I like to get a little on the edges of that too and also on the screw uh, this keeps everything from getting rusted too so take the little screw and just coat that and last but not least this little dowel right here on your reel coat that and oh yes of course gears so just put a little on um, each side of the gear and rub it in you want the gears really really oiled uh, so that they're almost hard to hold on to oil um, they need to be very much oiled because this is stuff kind of helps the real work yeah they most definitely are useful and you can do this one too with a little clear separating pin. I'm not sure if yours, what your guys' um, reels will look like. So uh, do this too. And once you get those, um, you now are good for assembly again. So you can take your little um, clear pin and you can put it back on or the clear uh, dish thing. And you can take your gear, like this, right here, put one on at a time. So first put the gear on, like that, and then put the little clear washer on, like this, and push it all the way down until it's on. And once you got those on, you can put your um, uh, spool on, so just line it up, and line it up until your little pin goes through 
put your drag knob back on and tighten it up. So if it's facing towards you, turn the drag knob to the right. If it's facing away from you, turn it to the left. And then you are going to be uh, put your handle on whichever um, hand you reel with and take your screw to keep the reel on and you can screw your handle back on. And now this is a cheap little reel, um, but this reel is nice and smooth now. Uh, yeah, that's basically how to, uh, you can just close this up, you don't need any of your stuff anymore, but yeah, that is how to reel or how to oil a, um, fishing reel. So, um, yeah, um, that's how you oil a spinning reel. Um, comment down below again if you want to see how to oil a, um, Man, this is 16 minutes. Yes, it takes a little time, but yes, it you can get it done. Um, but comment down below if you want to see how to do a bait caster. And I want to say thank you for watching. Stay tuned to the next episode of Fishing Today and Tight Lines. We'll see you soon. God bless. And just, if it'd be nice if you would remember to...